Oh, man. Check one, two. Check one, two. What is up, everybody? We made it. Paul so hard. Supermoto Sunday. Dallas, Texas area. It's Sheesh Design. Shout out to the Sheesh guys for putting up with this. How far is that spot with the uh, people up top that kick you out, but the double stair set with the wide railing? You gonna grind it? Now I'm gonna gap off the top into the other stair set. Anybody gas? Uh, just that door. Alright, find a buddy to push you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Luke? How are you? Great, brother. How about you? Not too bad. I seen you shredding out there, man. A little hand drag action. Yeah, yeah dude. Okay. I already got hit. Woo! Woo! And if you want to know why his gloves got holes in them, because he's always pushing on the ground like this, holding himself up on the turf. Looks like he's okay. Woo! Oh, Jay! Oh, we had a dirt bike crash. Oh, damn, bike went over here. Uh, I was going and I was, I was doing really, I was, I was kind of chasing it too much, and then my buddy said, Hey, next time we need crash. Do it to get on camera. <laughs> oh, dude, you should have on speed. Damn. <laughs> well, first crash of the day. Started kind of quick. Dude is in the dirt from the street. Got to be careful on these bikes. If you're not good with the back brake, that's all it is. If you're good with the back brake, you ain't got to loop anything. It's brake, gas, brake. That's really all it really is. It's a combination of gassing and brake. Yeah, that's just a little showdown. Now what? She said we can't be doing all that here. Texas size, baby. Gonna try to stay out the way of everybody. But we're still gonna have a good time today. Passing by some classic Texas spots. Fuel City, Fox Fuels, coming up on the taco places. That's what's up. This is another situation where there's a new ordinance about these two-wheel machines and how they are actually able to, similar to a bicycle, turn into a unicycle. This new ordinance is groundbreaking and going through legislature, which may allow it to be uh, utilized everywhere. But right now, this is just a test run. Still dirty and covered. Broken headlight. Poor chap. First five minutes in is the worst. Nobody's warmed up. The pros are shredding. Pretty sick to see Paul rocking the HH gear. Popping out with a humble hooligan shirt on. Look at these guys about to <laughs> do some work. Yo, okay. Oh, he thought about it. The surround almost went. Oh, KTM work. Oh, he got sideways. The first step is the hardest oh yeah our guy from Oklahoma cleans it okay let's go baby you got that ah oh. you got another lucky stair contestant cleans it is he gonna feel it out oh stalls it you just need a little running start is all you can try it yeah bro There's a little bit of momentum man carry it up you a little minute, you got it. <laughs> Lines it right up. Oh! A little air pressure in the back tire would be nice. Not every day. You can see the flex under the pedestrian bridge of the motorcycles riding over. They're not hiding from us, are they? They are. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering like. They are, bro. They didn't hit the hospital. They, they better not be scared. The instructions were pretty clear, bro. I said break your balls. It was clear. Yeah, yep. Texas sized titanium is all they got. No, I'm just kidding. Curb work. Nothing. 
He might be the master of the curb work right now. There's some other people doing a tiny bit of curb work, but not like this guy. Oh, look with the can-can wheelie. Sit down can-can. One-hander, locking it on the frame. Gotta make the, the left and the right. Oh, we've got moist air. <laughs> that cat, he just cut me off. That cat just burned me up. <laughs> oh damn, we got super moto enduro. Watch your shoulder pads. There's my marks on the 110 trying to do the wall ride. Super steep. Paul's camera does this no justice. I'm hoping mine does some. This is crazy. Skeet! So steep. Oh! 110 sideways with too much back brake. Hey, y'all have to come down. We're going that way. Dirt bikes, come on! <laughs> there we go. This is the dude that got dirty. He's got the spirit. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Ooh, just get it! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh! He got up in there like it. Oh, see? That case in point. There's a few people getting past. Paul's gonna give him a hard time no matter what. Yeah! <laughs> These ditches are so fun. He's coming back over. Nothing. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Poor new Honda. It's always the CRFs. It's always the, uh, excuse me, the L's. It's always the CRF L's. Oh, sir, on. I'm going back in. Here we go, sir. I'm slipping. He bails it again. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> My first crash. <laughs> oh, man. I had to join the crowd sometime, man. Put my mark on the joint. Oh, bro, you all the way down. I mean, you did it no hander. You wouldn't get off the bike completely. Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, Yamaha power. Hold, look out, don't do. Had to clean that up a little bit. Oh, I crashed once though. That's always good. Oh, yeah. Paul, Paul, Paul. Beware of this ditch if you're in Dallas. I think I said it last video, if you're gonna get a 250, skip it, get a 450. If you're gonna get a Grom, skip it, get a pit bike. Suron guy, got a bent seat, a crooked wheel, a wet tail. Oh, that was Dorian's friend. The chick used to hang out with Dorian. She's flowing pretty good today. These are the rivers of Dallas paved so they don't wash away. This is the underbelly where people have taken over some of these areas. This guy came up three notches since I rode with him last, maybe two. This guy's been always good. Invited us up to ride his town. Really cool dude. Thanks for the hospitality, Jay. Still remember that ride like it was recently. Oh, might get a little sub? Uh, got a little sub. He <laughs> pointed at you. <laughs> I shouldn't have hit that stair. Oof. That fucking key fell out. Oh, no. Yeah. Damn, man, how much practice you been putting in? G, passing us all up. Glad to see you still out, man. You all good from earlier? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. I was just trying to get away from the bike. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I got that's a little scrape on the leg. We are all right. Not too bad, nice. It's a good reminder to wear your safety gear. He thought he was going to mess his arm up and hit his head harder. 
when he saw the curve he was going into oh double no handers that was cool it's the wind I'm not really feeling this wind that much doesn't matter when you're that good makes it look easy I'm telling you nothing I don't know if anybody else can see it but I go to the right that is a pit bike curved wall ride okay it looks good from here but down there I bet it's terrifying and he cleans it slick now he wants me to do it ah. Oh, that's a good start. The steep one, bro. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, thanks, bro. Shake off the stuff from your tires and put it up. I think I'm a little more warmed up now, baby. She's feeling good up in the air. Ain't nobody really jumping it. I wasn't really ready for that uphill landing, but send it anyways. Looks like Paul's ridden through here before. Oh, oh! Ultima activities. Everybody follows like a herd of sheep. Following their their goat master. I think I can go bigger. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate. Yeah, yeah. He wants to see another no-hander. See if I can get one off. Pretty decent. That was pretty decent. Yeah. Hey, how far down? How far down do you think you can go? Like down this way? No. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo! Paul said. He was just about to send it the other way. I was like. Ah, oh, you can still go further. <laughs> yeah. It looks wild, I'm telling you. Yeah. Luke with the style off of it. That was sick, dude. Oh, plants it with the moto style off the top, dog. Yeah, it feels weird, but it feels good coming off of it. I'm stoked on I'm jumping the pallet jump. That was dope. And I gotta go off this one. Call it Skip. Limbo. All day. These people are wild out here. Skate pipes. I got right back up there, right next to Dallas's Epcot on the toothpick sky ball. I need to get this guy a humble hooligan shirt. Yeah, actually, he's getting that fresh one in my truck. One of the more humble hooligans I've met out here. Full of gratitude, you know, for like the shred because we've been talking about how, you know, if I do something, he likes it, it gets pumped up. And then he does something, I gotta tell him that I like it, he gets pumped up. Dude, you rock a t-shirt? I got a t-shirt for you. Yeah. The guy that was fresh out of jail got on the back of Paul's bike. Paul's doing wheelies with him. A little WR250 work. Gas check. Half a gallon. Ain't doing it. Past the Tesla charging station, you've got the Fuel City Longhorns. Oh, look at these conveniences here. I don't have any food for you. We just got the word there's going to be a music video that they want us to be in. A little sad. I can't see very well because I got that dark goggles on. Just a few people out on bikes. Everybody's the calm personality that you look for in this type of ride. That there's high caliber Texans out here. Look at this cool little festival they got going on with them. I like to be up front. I like to be in the back. I like to be in the mid. I like to mix it up. Nice Ferrari here. Pretty sweet. I know you're nervous with us riding. Oh, Lord have mercy. We're having 
the initial impact. Like I said, nobody's that pumped up out here. We've got very calm energy. No reason for people to get hyped up. One of the coolest dudes in the group right here. You already know. Oh, is this the zoo? I feel like I'm in the zoo riding with these guys. Mr. Instigation's finest right here. Oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, oh. He's burning up! <laughs> She's at pace. Oh, can can style. He got to show me up. Paul's doing the longest wheelie I might have ever seen. Shaking off the wrist. Flexing that arm. He's done like six stand ups, four no handers, gone through about eight lights, countless bumps. Navigated his way through traffic, passed cars appropriately, and a little bit inappropriately. Now he's just on a terror run. This has terrorized everybody. Anybody that came out right now is just getting terrorized by this wheelie. This is like level two terrorization. Maybe the third level? Level three. Now he's in there, so it's gone up to level four. He's cleaned the turn with the car wash cut through. This guy has gone from 10,000 city blocks down there to up here. Literally probably about three mi two, two or three miles so far. He's done longer, but I haven't seen it yet. That's what you gotta do if you get a 250. This is why I said skip the 250. Look how hard he's got to chop it to keep the wheelie up. Luke is still recording. Oh, this is gonna cause an issue though. You gotta slow it down, you gotta slow it down. You gotta lie these people. Oh. Holy shnikes. Holy cannolis, bro. Dude, how long was that clip? That wasn't even all of it. Like, like 15 minutes. Oh no, it wasn't all. My arm's burning. Oh, yeah. Dude, what the f How long? Were you recording? Alright, there's somebody. Bro, I told you, man. The one dude here has been throwing down, man. Hell yeah. Sure. Um, I want to let it air out. I got some water in it somehow. I tried hitting the leaf blower. Shout out Paul so hard. One of the coolest meetup spots ever for sure. This is the burnout wall. Paul's left a few marks. I think I just ran over a corn dog nugget. Maybe a corn dog nugget. Everybody see? Maybe. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Jay Needs Tires and the humble hooligans. There's about 20 of us in Atlanta. I got this fresh t-shirt from the Alabama ride out we just did. And I just handed it off to my boy Luke. Look at him representing. This guy is a country shredder. I met him at Paul So Hard, Supermoto Sunday. If you have a, a bike, a scooter, a motorcycle, you can be out here with us. We got the pull string gang. Pretty hard for me. Oh, just tweaking it. Just tweaking it. She's toast. <laughs> Okay, we're 100% zero. They're toast, bro. Let's see yours. Yeah. Dude. This is the best I can get so far. Oh. My bad. I see it. Don't get sketchy. That thing's probably deep right now. Who's gonna wheelie it? Ooh, this one's pretty easy. You gonna try it? It's pretty easy. Straight over, you're good, yep. Oh, weak wheelie. Oh, Bex. Yeah, bro. Taking it nice and easy. <laughs> oh. And this is what happens when you have a supermoto instead of a 250 or a Grom. You know, you can actually get through these things. There's no way a Grom could ever do it, that's for sure. No small wheel bike could ever do it without knobbies like that pit bike. I right, hit a little wall right here for sure. Skate spot. Can he wheelie up these Johns? Oh! 
Oh! Oh, he's got no! Little JB. The stairs always claim somebody. This guy got a broken case. Right, we'll just let that sit like this for a little bit. <laughs> and it'll be good. I'm on the this camera. Guy's oh. Up the stairs. You ride with oh, Paul. Fuck. Yeah, you lost your pad too. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, that's my what? Ah. Sometimes when you don't put your glove on, it might fall off. Let's go and put everything on. All my accessories in. Let's get it. Oh! Jumping, roosting, hopping, and popping. Can I get my first throttle hand? I'm 450. Oh! That was the tiniest one ever, but I did it. a big wrap for tonight we really appreciate you watching smash that like button subscribe